Hello, today we will be learning about atoms. Most of our notes this year are going to take place in the style of Cornell notes. Cornell notes are set up like this. You have your notes on the right side. At the end of writing notes, you will learn how to write high level questions and you will be writing a summary. So go ahead and set up your notebook as shown. If you're not for sure what page number you're working on, please go back and look at eChalk. eChalk will tell you what page you should be doing your Adams Cornell notes on. Here are the Adam notes that we're going to be working on today. If I'm moving too fast, please feel free to pause the video and when you're ready to move on, press play to resume and catch back up. Atoms are the smallest part of all matter. Matter is any solid, liquid, or gas. There are two main parts of the atom, the nucleus and the electron cloud. The nucleus is the center of the atom where protons and neutrons are found. The electron are the outer rings where electrons are found. So the three main particles that we need to be concerned about in an atom are protons, neutrons, and electrons. You may hear of them being called subatomic particles. Protons are positively charged and they're large in size. Neutrons are neutral in charge and they're also large in size. So once again, protons and neutrons, you can find them in the nucleus, which is the center of the atom. Electrons have a negative charge and they are very small. Electrons are found in the electron cloud. And remember the electron cloud are these rings that circle around the outside of the nucleus. We are now going to work on our questions. You are going to work on creating three questions from any level on page three. So I'm going to turn to page three. Page three is where we have our three levels of questioning. To start off, you might want to work with first level questions. These are the words that will help you create your questions. For example, maybe I choose to use the word define. One of my questions can be define an atom. I'm going to make a second question. Maybe I want to use the word compare. Look at my notes. My second question is going to be compare a proton and a neutron. Third question. This time, maybe I want to use the word list. Looking at my notes. My third question can be, list the three main particles of an atom. Please do not use the exact questions that I have done. I did that as an example for you. What you need to do is look at the words on page three and use those words to help you create three questions about our Adams notes from today. Lastly is a summary. What you need to do is create a three sentence summary summarizing what you have learned today about atoms. Once you have finished with your summary, your lesson is complete. Good job.